This is Airsoft Mike, and here's another episode of Forgotten Airsoft AEGs. So here it is people, this is the SMT Sterling MK5 or if you like Mark V. Now remind you of anything? If it doesn't it will become apparent throughout the video. Let's get this bad boy open. Now as I open this keep in mind that this is not a very common AEG unlike its older brother. Okay, as always, your instruction manual. Now this particular, oh, oh, that looks good. Now I'm not gonna show it to you just yet. Let me just show you the accessories that it comes with, but little disclaimer, this is an upgraded version. This really is gonna be fantastic for gameplay because it's upgraded, but reenactors will also love this thing and I'll show you why in a moment. But here we go. This particular upgraded one comes with one of these. Now, yes, a battery, unlike anything you're used to seeing usually with a Dean's plug, nice. And this particular one has 11.1 .1 volts. Now there are other bits and pieces in here, but they're no longer relevant for this video. So let's move straight on to the star attraction. So starting with the mag and here we go those of you who like things that look nice and authentic would you look at this mag full metal but check out the markings real steel trades triple nice now to the piece itself S&T has modeled this as the STAEG 66 MK5 Oh wow, and oh my goodness, the weight on this. This bad boy has a full steel construction, real wood handguard, and a folding stock that you need a degree to deploy and put away again. <laughs> I tell you what, let's complete that picture. Wait, yeah baby, <laughs> it goes in that way. Would you look at that? <laughs> I tell you what, let's unfold the stock. So if I remember correctly, you pull that down. Yeah, that's pretty easy enough. You bring it to here, and this is where it all begins to be flibbity jibbity. Now, you then press that down. That's your cap catch. You can then push the cap down, secure your stock like that. Nice. Then you unfold this and pull this up. Look at the size of that. <laughs> so, full steel and real wood, starting from the back, as I just showed you, this very skeletonized, almost scaffolding stock. Here you have your rear sling point. And beneath that is your cap where the battery goes. Guess what? I'm gonna have to move this out of the way again, so I might as well show you how that's done. So to collapse the shoulder rest, take care not to trap any thumbs or fingers. There you go. <laughs> Thumb trapped. <laughs> you then of course reverse the process when you're releasing the stock. But that's not it. There's still more to go <laughs> because you've now got to push that up in there. Now if it doesn't click into place like that, all you need to do is to raise this section a little and what a palaver, but I like it. <laughs> so to take the cap off, you need to push on this cap catch right there. Effectively that moves out of the way so you can push that down and twist. Now again, on this particular one, it's been given a makeover, so it has a Dean's plug. 
Now at this point, I would normally take the mag out before connecting the battery, but it's on safe. The mag is serving as a nice little stand at the moment. And all I have to do now is connect the battery. And then you put it in, but I'm just gonna hold it here for a few seconds so you can get the details. Good, that goes in there. Right, let's make sure this works. I've got it on semi-auto, pointing it in a safe direction. There's nothing in here, but I still have my iPro on. Oh, that is snappy. Full auto. Oh, decent, or is it? I'll show you why I'm doubting my use of the word decent after putting the battery pack in when we get to the other side. So, for now. So, moving along, you have your rear sight. And below that, you have your end cap catch. Bit of a mouthful, that. It's a bit tricky. End cap catch. Yeah, anyway. And then, of course, we're getting back to your awesome stock. Your grip, which is checkered your fire selector switch and uh yeah i'm gonna have to open this up again <laughs> actually i can do it from this point yeah i'm not gonna lock it back um you have your safe your semi-auto and your full auto you have your very unique looking trigger and trigger guard and hold on for a bit longer i'll be showing you all the trades in a moment and right here you have your 110 round mag Oh, go on then. Let me start showing you the trades. Look, right there, Sterling. And as you saw earlier, Sterling. Sterling. With a serial number. And then here you've got this very nice, grooved, serrated handguard made out of real wood. And what I like, and I'm sure this wasn't done on purpose, but it all adds to it. It's got bits chipped out of it. In fact, it's got scratches and marks in various places, but it doesn't matter. It all goes towards that weathered look. <laughs> it's amazing how many forms or shapes it takes on depending on how you put it down. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> that was my fault. I accidentally pushed down on that, which releases your stock. Newsflash, throughout the video, if you see this section here sitting like that, not properly engaged with this little slot right there, just know when you have one of these, make sure it's in like that. Look, another little scuff there, very nice. <laughs> and then right here, your front sling point. And then of course, you have your front sight. Man, that's one tiny peephole. <laughs> and of course, this being the suppressed version, you know what that is. And just in case you're worrying, I just couldn't make up my mind what t-shirt to wear, so I'm wearing both. Ha! So, look, that's what I was talking about when I put the battery in. It's not all that decent because as you can see, you can see the battery in there, but all is not lost. If you have one of these bad boys or you intend on getting one, whether it be for airsoft or reenactments, just secure yourself a black battery pack and Bob's your uncle. Now, you have your charging handle, which is um just for show. It doesn't even reveal your hop-up. It literally is just for show because your hop-up adjustment is right there, there. And I'm loving the attention to detail on the grip. And I'll be honest with you, in the past, I used to think, what the hell does CK, LO, EE, and FR mean? What is it? Is it the other side of the fire selector switch? Of course it's not, it's on the grip. There's your fire selector switch. Until I looked at it properly. Look, if you pretend that screw isn't there and those letters were together, <laughs> what does it say? Lock. Free. So basically, in the real world, if you're going to take your trigger group out, you have your free position to release it or your lock position to keep it in. Okay, let's do a chrono test. I just love the markings on this. Now,
Nice, we're looking at a comfortable 330 to 340. Yes, and I'm loving how it jumped up a bit <laughs> to 364. And we're looking at a comfortable 18 rounds per second. Do you know what? I usually have a little chit chat about how I did and I even stopped short of doing three more here because that there speaks for itself. So does that. Don't get me started. Perfect. That is literally a perfect line formation. <sighs> a bit of full auto anyone? Do you know what? I don't need to say anything. So there you go people, this is it. The MK5 Sterling from SNT. What do you think? Do you prefer this over its predecessor? I think it's like a Gucci -er version of it. Um, yeah, it's got a nice weight to it, nice finish. Yeah, this thing is decent. So yeah, check out your normal places where you would pick up your airsoft gear and remember always always wear eye pro no i don't mean 24 7 <laughs> i mean when you're using things like yeah you know what i mean <laughs> right now i'm off to go and do another video for my other channel but i just want to quickly say okay you know recently i've opened up this thing now this new feature that youtube has done for youtubers creators as they call us <laughs> um where people can not only just subscribe, they can also join, okay? For a small fee, my joining fee on my channel is $1.99, you get certain perks, then the next level is $2.99, then the next level is $8.99, and that's the top one, okay? And on one of those uh, levels, guess which one, you're gonna get my brand new PVC patch. Now, some of you are, are not able to, to, to pay anything or whatever, it doesn't matter. I value you just as much, okay? All my viewers, I appreciate it when you click and watch my videos because it really isn't cheap to run this channel. Um, so I really do appreciate the people who have joined my channel as VIP members. But if you are not able to, there is one other way you can help me out by subscribing to my other channel, my Mike's Tech and Toys Plus Movie Memorabilia. That's sort of my backup support channel for my Airsoft one. That's all I'm gonna say. I will reveal more information why I really need my Mike's Tech and Toys to grow a bit more because of the way things are happening at the moment on this channel with YouTube. <laughs> Those of you in the know will know what I'm talking about. But anyway, if you've got a moment, head over to my Mike's Tech and Toys Plus Movie Memorabilia channel and uh, give me a little sub. Cheers.